Hey guys, Mark Brooks here from Art of Baseball Productions with the Swing Analysis Series where you tell me whose swing you'd like to see and I'll give you some batting tips that you can use today to make you a better hitter tomorrow. So today we have Joe Maurer um, and you know, been a fan for him for a really long time. And this is an uh, approach to hitting that I think every single little leaguer, high school, college player should be able to not only understand but be able to implement. Now this isn't an approach that I think that you should abide by or uh, implement into your own approach but it is something that I think you should be able to do. Uh, a tool, a tool in your toolbox, you could say. Now the reason why is because his swing is very simple and he demonstrates some very important fundamental aspects uh, that all hitters need to be aware of. So I give private lessons with countless players here in the Southern California area. And one of the first things that I really try to hone down with these players is understanding the importance of minimizing that head. So if you look at Joe Maurer here, you'll notice Take his head and compare it to uh, an object in the background. All right, so let's say you see that little kid with the White Sox hat in the background. Look at Joe Maurer's head in comparison to this. It pretty much stays the same in regards to distance. Now what this does is this gives Joe Maurer an incredible advantage in regards to being able to pick up the pitch out of the pitcher's hands, um, picking up rotation, speed, and playing. Now this is the art of slowing down the game. All right, this is what makes Joe Maurer such a fantastic hitter. Uh, who's able to even be just as powerful, just as dangerous to left-handed pitching. It's because he knows how to slow down the game. He does it by keeping a quiet head. Uh, my mentor, Steve Springer, performance coach for the Toronto Blue Jays, he says, good hitting is slow feet, fast hands, quiet head, right? And that's what I want you guys, that's my challenge for you guys, to understand the concept of, of slowing down that head now. You do that by slowing down your feet. Um, I, and you know your stride is going to depend on your overall physical makeup. A bigger stride or a bigger boy, a bigger guy with a bigger physical makeup is going to have a bigger stride. But what I like to see you do uh, to experiment with, if anything else, is being able to slow down the, that feet by shortening your stride. You can experiment with the post stride. Um, if you want to have, get some examples of different kinds of strides, you just type in baseball stride at artofbaseball.net. And we'll give you some different examples of those. But slowing down that stride is going to have a direct relation to uh, or an influence to the, the movement of your head. Um, and that's just a basic, uh, basic concept, guys, of slowing down the game. You do it by slowing down your head. The quicker your head moves, the more your eyes move. The more your eyes move, the less you're able to pick up the rotation, speed, and plane of the pitch. So hope that, guys, uh, hope that answers a couple of questions. I know you guys had some questions in regards to... Uh, um, to my approach to hitting a higher velocity fastball, this is pretty much it right here. And I know some of the other guys wanted to see if Joe Maurer swing didn't um, get analyzed, the breakdown of his swing. So I hope that helps, guys. Hope uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, sign up to the Art of Baseball newsletter. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.